Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome to this honest review. I genuinely hate the fact that I say honest review. I said it once for a product that was going to be quite controversial on YouTube and uh, now I feel like if I don't say honest review, people won't think it's honest. My reviews are always honest, so we might have to scrap the honest in the future. Okay, anyone else that's putting it in, I was there first. Got it? <laughs> this one is on a Pothecary 87 clay pomade. It's a product I've been using for about a year and a half. And actually, I've had it in various favorites videos. I've had it in my most used of 2017, but I've never actually sat down and spoken to you guys. So this is what this one is about. Now this is by a brand, Pothecary 87, who are based in the UK. They're from Doncaster, which is in Yorkshire. There's a guy called Sam Martin who actually created Pothecary 87. And um, it's 87 is the year he was born, but also the age that his granddad died, which I think is quite sweet. So he's, he's got that as part of the brand. They've got beard balms, they've got moustache waxes, they've got pomades, they've got clay. So really, they, they do have quite a lot. So I'll link up, say, everything down below and you can check it out. But this is one which I think, especially with clays being such a buzz hair product, that I think that you guys are going to want to know about. In terms of ingredients, the ingredients are on the box. I got rid of the box, so I had to get them from the internet for you. But this is an oil-based product. You've got petrolatum, you've got kaolin, which is a type of clay. You've got wax, lanolin, you've got perfumes, you've got various sort of compounds in there. One thing I would say is kaolin, I love as a clay. Kaolin's great because it doesn't dehydrate the hair, it doesn't detract from it, and actually, it can tend to add to the elasticity of the hair, and that's exactly, as a guy with fine hair, is exactly what I want. The packaging is fine, like it doesn't blow me away, it looks absolutely fine. They've really kept this sort of heritage, traditional looking brand throughout, even though it is a fairly new brand, but they've gone with that, and that's across absolutely all of their products. In terms of the smell, now this product is available in a vanilla and mango uh, scent, but they've got this one, which is called, let me get this right, Lock, Stock and Barrel, which is supposed to be like gunpowder. It's fairly punchy, so it will be divisive. I quite like it because it really does smell like nothing else on the market, but I know a lot of you guys might be like, this, this is just too much for me and my hair. In terms of consistency, because it is an oil-based product, it does have, I would say, a reassuringly waxy sort of touch to it. You can scoop it out, it's fairly hard, get it into the hands and warm it up, but you will feel that slight sticky waxy texture to it. Ease of application, actually, surprisingly easy. You would think that because it is slightly tougher and waxier that you're really going to have to work it through, but I, I've really had no trouble with this. And then moving on to styling, it's just as easy. What I do really like about this is it's going to help you to build volume. So if you're a guy who's got a hairstyle like me, or you just want to add a little bit of a boost to the hair, this product is going to wrap around the hair and it's going to allow you to build it. So then you can layer the product and put as much or as little as you want. Sometimes quite often I find with say like a styling cream, um, like I spoke about in the chapter review that we had last week, that it just wasn't holding its own, whereas this will. Then when you're looking to finish, because again, because it had, does have that oil-based property to it, it does have a slight shine. I mean, not a lot at all. It's not going to be like a sort of high shine pomade. It's not going to be like a wax, but it's got a slight shine to it. And then hold, I quite often use this actually without hairspray, which for me is mind-blowing. I am a hairspray boy, I like to lock it into place, I don't want it to move, but with this one actually I do feel quite comfortable and confident to go out without hairspray. Also because it is oil-based it's not going to dry hard so it means that if it is going to drop slightly on a night out or if you're at school, college, work, whatever, you can just run your hands through your hair and put it back into place really very easily. What also I like about this, which actually I should have said in styling, I think it gives you that real sort of authentic I'm going to say greaser. People will be like, you're not a greaser, blah, blah, blah. I'm not saying I'm a greaser. But if you want that sort of that sort of slight shine look to it, if you want a bit of texture, you want a bit of definition in the hair, then this is the sort of clay product that is going to do that. Unsurprisingly, in terms of washability, it's not that easy. It is an oil-based product, so if you want to fully remove it, you will need a shampoo. But for me, really, because I don't wash my hair absolutely every day, if I'm using this product, say, two days in a row, it's fine just to leave and then either just get a hair dryer just to warm it up again and, and work through or just add a little bit more. But oil-based, to be expected, not that easy without shampoo. In terms of pricing comparison, it comes as 100 mils or 
3.38 US fluid ounces. Um, you can't get it on their site anymore, but you can get it in various uh, stockists online, I will link. But it's actually now available on ASOS, and ASOS does worldwide delivery. I think it's great when they do grooming products. Because they're slightly larger, I mean they're a huge retailer, it means it can really bring the cost down. So this actually on the site is £15, which I think is so reasonable. As I say guys, you know, I've had this for about a year, and I've still got quite a lot to go. Compared to other products in the market, I think it's a really solid price. And um, also, as I say, you know, that will be worldwide. Comparing it to another product, another favorite of mine, again by another independent brand who I absolutely love, I would kind of compare it to the Lockhart's Matte Clay, but this one is slightly lighter, it's slightly softer in terms of the way that it scoops out, it's less oily, and it does have a matte finish. So they're almost like brother and sisters. If you want something, say, a bit more evening, then I would say this one, the Apothecary 87. But I, I'm directly comparing them in terms of the sort of business model and, and how they're working. Um, but really, in its hold and how it looks, there is no other product for me that really does what Apothecary 87 does. And that's exactly why I'm loving it. I mean, you guys will know from the start of this review that I literally am giving this, I never give something five stars. I never give anything stars, but I would give this one a good, like solid four stars, 80%. I think it's great. I really would recommend this to you. So also, like it's not risky. It's, it's a cheap product, it's 15 pounds. You can be buying a whole load of these cheap budget products for five pounds, but you're gonna go straight through it. It's not gonna give you holes and you're gonna end up paying for three or four of them by the time you've done this, seriously. So. Apothecary 87, I love what you're doing. I love this product. I love that it's British. I'm impressed with it. So there you go. Thank you very much for watching. If you've used this product or any of the other ones, then please do leave a comment in the comments below. Let me know what you love or you don't love about it. Also, if there's any other sort of brands, especially these sort of smaller, more niche, independent ones, I'd love to hear about them because this is what this platform's for, bringing you new products that I think you'll love. But thanks very much again. Remember that podcast, there's a link down below. There's also one up there. If you're new to the channel, you've not yet pressed subscribe, then please do press subscribe right now. The button is just there. It actually does mean a lot to me. I never say that, but it does. Also, more video suggestions down there. Stay with me and watch them or a link to my blog there. But I'll see you in my next new video. Bye-bye.